Good evening, everyone. I'm Jack, the best man. I've been asked to say a few words about my favourite newlyweds, Liam and Simone. Firstly, I know there's probably multiple people in the crowd that are worried about what I might say tonight. So to put you at ease, just know this speech has not been vetted by anyone. I also read somewhere that you should print off your speech in different size fonts to account for how many beers you've had. And right now I'm reading off size 17, so I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> thank you everyone for showing up to this special occasion. But most importantly, thank you to anyone that had any involvement in raising these two wonderful human beings sitting up here today. I believe that's why we all got the invite, so I'm grateful to you all for making two of my best friends. I've known Liam for 17 years now, and to be asked to be his best man and for Simone to allow it is something I'll truly cherish for the rest of my life. It's a wonder how a relationship made it past one of our first interactions, as on our first day together in Year 8 at Rocket Grammar, we were sitting beside each other in our form class, waiting patiently to find out who our Year 12 form seniors were going to be for that year. And as they arrived, I turned to Liam and was like, damn! Look at her, she's beautiful, and uh, received quite the stare from Neb in response. Funnily enough, that form senior actually took the time to make it tonight. Big thanks to Liam's sister, Monique. <laughs> <laughs> After year eight, the teachers came to their senses and did not allow us in the same class, uh, classroom for the rest of our schooling. Little rat boys is what Monique would call us. Liam and I, being the progressive new age guys that we were, at the sprightly young age of 15, we promised that we'd be each other's best man. Ten years living in different places, and he never forgot that promise. We made it, buddy. <laughs> Throughout school, he was the smartest guy I knew, yet still couldn't get my English assignment above a B+. <laughs> Liam had this sort of charis uh, charismatic aura around him, the gift of the gab, the silver tongue most likely uh, passed down from his father, Lee. <clears throat> now let's touch on Liam's footballing career. <laughs> Third's match of captain, grade 11, finished respectfully. Second Stallions, year 12 co-captain, premiership winners, just to name a few of his accolades. For those who never got to witness this man play, you've never seen a 60 kg back rower running off the back fence with more heart, courage, and ferocity to often no avail than this here man. <laughs> Although his kamikaze hit-ups were pleasing to the eye, where he lacked was his defensive skills. Besides a stray swinging arm or a cheeky face rub, he often found people slipping through his fingers. But the one that would not slip through this defensive line was Simone. <laughs> the, first time I met, uh, the first time I met Simone, she delivered me a drunken rendition of Tones and Eyes Dance Monkey on Liam's coffee table. <laughs> now surprisingly, this isn't when I knew she was the one. <laughs> it was when I woke up on the couch to Simone with beer in hand, sky racing set up on one screen, and the footy on the other. I thought to myself, we've made it, Nev. <laughs> uh, so now this next part's uh, coming straight from the feels. What is love? In my opinion, love is formulated on the foundations of friendship, because what more could you want than being in love with your best friend, right? The first time I witnessed Simone and Liam's love, it flowed with, the perfection, per, uh, with perfect harmony of pure friendship the kind of stuff that lasts forever, the kind of stuff we all want. So without further ado, I'd like to formally announce that I'll be stepping down as best friend, even though I've seen this coming for quite some time. I'm still second. And I could not have asked for a better successor than Simone. Now everyone join me in raising a glass. And let's wish these newlyweds a happy life together and make it a night to remember. See you on the dance floor, thanks. <laughs>